Hey, what's up YouTube? 12 Virus here with another figure review and this time I'll be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. I just picked him up yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday whenever he came in the mail and I went and picked him up. And he is amazing. Definitely one of my favorite figures. Definitely in my collection and all together. Well, in my collection and um, out of the SH Figure Arts. Sometime I'll have to do a SH Figure Arts um, top 12 list. And tomorrow or Tuesday I will be doing a top 12 figures list out of my collection. And spoiler alert definitely think I'm going to put him on there. Um, mine though, he won't be too too high on the list because mine actually has a defect which I strained out a little bit. So with this face, I looked at other reviews also because with mine, as you can see, his face hangs on. It's extra tight. Let me put the face back in and then get the head off to show you guys what I'm talking about there we go so with mine you can see that whenever it's in it's fairly easy to take off now except for if I take that one out first then it's a lot harder because this joint right here is super tight you'll see the paint rubbing off now because it actually wasn't because the other reviews that I have watched show that neither of them were painted but for some reason on mine it was painted which added an extra coat which made it far too thick to let go entirely but now it's starting to work its way out and this was gapped like that far so I had to kind of push it in and push it and then had to kind of finally pop it out because it's a lot easier to put the heads back on with the faceplate off and you can see the paint kind of wearing off now, which is, in my opinion, I'm really happy that it's finally starting to do that because it's super tight and I was worried about breaking it and all that stuff. So I got lucky and mine had a defect, but not a major one. And then you can see in the hair really good that there's still some blue where they, I guess, painted over the blue and all of that good stuff. But all in all though, super happy to have him and the minor defect and the paint doesn't really bother me at all because it still is an amazing face sculpt and head sculpt and all of that. So still definitely amazing in my opinion. So let's swap out the head to show you the other head. Here is one of the faces, just a plain simple face. And then, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Probably not. At some angles, it actually, the nose on both heads, even the one with the black hair, kind of looked blue to me. But as I'm looking at it in this lighting, doesn't really look like it anymore. Just barely. Maybe with the face form head more than the others. But that's just a very minor thing. It's not extremely noticeable on mine or anything. But there is one of the faces. Let's remove it. And then pop it in. There we go. And then pop on the yelling faceplate. And the hair looks amazing as well. I really like the coloring and all the details. Looks amazing. So, definitely my favorite Gogeta figure. And then, pop on this face. The kind of grinning face. Still haven't really decided which hair or head I want to display it in. Base or Super Saiyan Blue. Probably go back and forth like I do with the Vegeta and see how it goes. 
but there's that one. So anyways, he came with two pairs of these kind of open blast hands, and then two pairs of the martial arts hands. There's one, and then here's the other one. And then we got the Big Bang Kamehameha hands, or just Kamehameha hands, whichever way you want to put it. And then, of course, he came with the two standard fist hands. So, onto articulation. His head can look down that much. And then, side to side a little bit. And then his neck, of course, moves a little bit. And then for articulation with the arms, can go up that much, down, and then he has the butterfly joint back there, which looks good. And then he's got the bicep rotation, and then double joint elbows for that much. Then he's got a hinge on the wrist to do that, and then rotation of course. And then his ab crunch can go up that much, which kind of gets quite a bit of gappage there. And then side to side also gives you quite a bit of gap. So you kind of have to display him if you do that. Kind of having him looking that way or like from the back. Something to where it won't be noticeable. So you kind of have to, if you want to lean him back like so, kind of have to take advantage and close in the gap otherwise you know you get quite a big gap and then forward is you get a little bit there but not nearly as much definitely not noticeable and then of course the other section the bottom section also moves as well as you can see back that much forward not really any side to side and then the belt is really thin rubber material so that way it can move around and then right here can rotate that way you can have him in dynamic poses like it's flowing and then he can kick out this much down back all the way that far and then forward that far and you can see the belt moves and then double joint knees and then he's got a hinge down there for the foot and it can go side to side like so kind of see it kind of a small foot to really there we go and then of course he's got the tail articulation like so now let's jump into some comparisons getting straightened out there we go so do it this way well get him to stand it's kind of a challenge getting this one to stand. He doesn't exactly want to do all that great. There we go. So, we will bring in the Dragon Stars Gogeta, of course. Have to bring him in for a comparison. So, the SH Figure Arts, of course, is smaller in scale. So he's smaller and then side to side. SH Figure Arts definitely wins that battle. He looks amazing. Way better than the Dragon Stars. But of course, still love having the Dragon Stars. And if you don't have the money for the SH Figure Arts, then it'll definitely do. Even though it's really tan or really orange. And then another size comparison. We will do the Super Saiyan God Vegeta.
and then we have the well let's swap off his head for this comparison there we go pop off the face it's getting easier the more I do it which super happy about that because like I said I was so worried about breaking him that kind of moved on me there we go pop that face on like so it kind of bummed me out that he didn't have crossed arms but it's no major thing because I would rather have him in a more dynamic pose than to um, have him with crossed arms but still would have been pretty neat but like I said, it doesn't really matter to me at all. And then you got him next to Vegito. The regular one, of course. If I had the Super Saiyan Blue one, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, that'd be sweet. But I do not. So this will just have to do. Well, so they are about the same size. If not, Gogeta's just a little bit taller, it looks like. They're pretty much the same size. Let's see back to back. Yeah, definitely pretty much the same size. So, that actually turned out really well. And then, of course, we have to do the pop back off the head. And then... Pop the face off. There we go. Pop back on this face instead. Find the holes. There we go. And then we have... There we go. So, next to him... We will do the SH Figure Arts Broly. There's Broly's hand. As you can tell, Broly's definitely taller. Go back. There we go. Broly towers over him like a giant, which is great. Really like the view of that. There we go. Better pop on the face. There we go. So, yeah, Broly, of course, way taller, which that looks amazing together. But I have mine displayed by Broly in the back by Shinron, and then the other Broly, old school Broly, on the other side of Shinron. So the new one is on the left, and then the old one is on the right. So I have them displayed like that. And then, of course, I have Gogeta here displayed between the Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Goku but that'll change it'll be Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku whenever the new release of the Goku comes out because I think that'll look way better of course I'll still have Super Saiyan God Goku displayed somewhere on the shelf but I won't have him by the Vegeta because I'll swap out the Vegeta's head with the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan head, so that way, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Vegeta, Gogeta, and Goku all together. I think that'd look good. So, for the height, we have, he is approximately, to the top of the face, is about five and a half inches, and then the top of the hair is a, roughly about looks like I want to say six and three-fourths to six and seven-eighths inches tall and then of course shoulder to shoulder we'll include the shoulder pads there he is about roughly two inches from shoulder to shoulder there is about two inches I want to say yeah, two inches with shoulder pads, and then without the shoulder pads is about um, an inch and seven eighths, so barely any less. 
about the same shoulder to shoulder and shoulder pad to shoulder pad. All in all, he's definitely worth getting if you're able to afford him. If not, then you know, Dragon Stars will still do because Dragon Stars are still great even though the Gogeta kind of came out a little orange. But again, um, SH Figure Arts, definitely the way to go. But I love both lines. Um, the Dragon Stars because they remind me of whenever I was a kid and you know, classic figures, durable, all that stuff. And SH Figure Arts, always worried about breaking them. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this figure review. This has been 12 Virus signing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Chirogenic, my subscriber, I completely forgot that he actually thought it would be neat if I did a rating at the end of my videos, like out of 10, and then I came up with the idea, let's improve it, and since my name is 12 Virus, let's do out of 12. So, with him, I definitely have to give him probably an 11 out of 12, in my opinion, because he's so great, and no, I'd say a 10, because the gappage that here and there and then the um, da -da 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 stuttering <laughs> um, and then with the defects that he has yeah bump it down to a 10 10 out of 12 for him uh, definitely an awesome figure and worth picking up but not perfect um, probably will never use my 12 because I don't know if any will definitely come to that um, but anyways, definitely a 10 in my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been 12 Virus signing out.